wife's mom and dad lived kind of close, known as Elvin and Shirley to most, but to my children and grandchildren, they're known as Papa and Grandpa. Well, they don't get out much anymore, maybe eat church or the grocery store, but once in a while, strange things will happen. One day, Granny was feeling mighty spry. She said, Elvin, let's get outside. I feel like I'm going crazy stuck in this house. He said, Shirley, it's mighty hot outside. If you want to get out, at least let's ride. We'll take the golf cart and check the crops across the field. Well, Papa's cart sits way up high with jacked up frame and big knobby tires. Looks like one of them mud bogging four wheel drives. Well, Granny got a bag of drinks and snacks. Papa took the chain and lock off the back, locked the doors on the house, and headed out. Well, the trip started off as a nice little ride. Weather was hot, but it was nice to be outside. But they didn't know what fate had in store. They got about a half a mile from home, just them and the golf cart and no telephone, when Papa decided to check the corn across the canal. He knew in his mind that there was a road right there with the bushes drawn up he couldn't see where. He saw a narrow path and put the pedal down. As they drove in the weeds, Granny started to yell, Look out, Elvin, we're going in the canal. But it was too late, Junior Johnson couldn't save them that time. The cart turned over on his side with a thud, throwed Granny off in the water and mud. Like Jack and Jill, Papa came tumbling after him. After rolling in the mud, they finally crawled out. Granny commenced to holler and shout. My brother-in-law heard him a half a mile calling for help. Ricky took his car and flew down there. What he saw was the cart with the wheels in the air and two mud-covered people, hard to recognize. They were covered in mud with a kind of a blank stare. Ricky said, Daddy, what are you doing in there? Granny said, Elvin saw a deer path and thought it was the road. My wife got there and found everything all right. Ricky took pictures to remind them of the site. We want to make sure that they don't ever forget that day. Anybody that's ever known me long knows all I need is a thought for a song. Papa and Granny can be thanked for this one. Now we're thankful nobody was hurt really bad. Could have been a lot worse with the ride they had. The golf cart even came through without a dent. Now the moral of the golf cart trip is right. If you want to cross the canal, you better find the bike. Because them deer paths will lead you to water every time. Well, I believe from now on when Papa goes mud bogging, if he gets back in that canal, he's going to have one empty seat because I believe Granny's going to be at the house.